Hello, my name is Dr. Nicholas Cohen, and I'm here to share with you a top 10 list of tips for labor and delivery. Tip number one, when pregnant, when your delivery is coming up, I recommend that you attend a childbirth class. These often occur over several weeks, and they give you the opportunity to meet with other pregnant women, to share stories, obtain knowledge about pregnancy, labor, and birth, talk about your fears and concerns, and um, just have time to focus on preparing for your birth. Tip number two is I recommend that you attend a breastfeeding class before you deliver, especially if you're gonna be a first time mom. It's often very um, challenging to breastfeed, especially in the first couple of days, and it's helpful to have a class before you have your baby so that you know what to expect and how to make breastfeeding successful. And you should plan on breastfeeding your baby within the first hour of, of his or her life. So it's good to know what you're doing before you deliver. Tip number three is find someone to go with you to your delivery and to support you during your labor. Studies show that when you have someone there the whole time when you're giving birth, you'll have a lower chance of problems with your labor and you'll be more satisfied with the labor experience. Tip number four is make sure you do what you can to prevent preterm labor. Preterm labor is labor that occurs before 37 weeks. And two sure ways that you can help prevent preterm labor are not smoking and not drinking alcohol during your entire pregnancy. Tip number five, make sure going into your labor that all of your labs have been sent. And you can check with your doctor about these things. For sure, by 28 weeks, your doctor should have checked or your midwife should check your hemoglobin and your RH, your rhesus blood type, and do an antibody screen. Other important tests that the hospital you go to will need to know um, during for, about, about you are HIV tests, hepatitis B tests, and a vaginal and rectal swab up for GBS, which is group B strep, which is done between 35 and 37 weeks. These are critical labs where, wherever you go for your delivery and can be done before you actually get there, should be done before you actually go into labor. Tip number six is a pain management plan. How you want to address pain during your delivery is up to you 100%, and it's something you can think about and discuss before you actually go into labor. The most common and popular and effective options are both involve medicine and, and other ways without medicine. Some of the effective non-pharmacologic ways to address pain are standing and walking around. This can um, decrease the amount of pain you have during the early part of your labor. You can also uh, ask your partner to massage you. A back, lower back massage, hand massage, feet massage, all are helpful and have been shown to reduce pain during labor. And breathing and relaxation techniques are things you can learn during your childbirth class that have also been effective in helping women deal with their pain. Pharmacologic options, which can be discussed with your doctor, are most popular is the epidural for pain relief. And there are other oral and IV medications that are options for you. Tip number seven is know when to come in. There's, if you have blood coming from your vagina or uh, fluid leaking from your vagina, you should come in or at least call your doctor and tell them about it. And then more than likely you're, you'll need to come in. And if your contractions are occurring, about every five minutes for over an hour, despite lying down. Tip number eight. When you do start having signs of labor, 
it's important to stop eating solid foods and not to eat solid foods during your labor and delivery. Tip number nine is how to push. In general, it's best to push when you feel the need to push during labor. Your doctor or midwife may coach you when to push. If your, for example, your epidural anesthesia prevents you from feeling the urge to push. And tip number 10, believe in yourself. Childbirth and delivery are, is a great time and, or it's a great, it's a great and challenging time. But some of these tips I hope will help you with this process and make the experience more enjoyable. Thank you very much for listening and have a great day.